We've been researching LID, low impact development, um, and sustainable building strategies, and so we're out here doing it. I think what people don't know is that it rains, and so the water runs off of the roof, and there's asphalt shingles, and it collects pollutants as it runs over the roof and down into a gutter, which gets piped underground and goes directly, as quickly as possible, into the streams. So there's fish habitat, other you know edge habitats that are being affected by these pollutants. So what we're doing is we're taking that water and we're either pulling it into a cistern or conveying it down a channel, and then it's going to be filtered through soil and plants and collect in a sump and then return to the groundwater. So we're slowing the water down and we're filtering it through all of these systems so that it's not as polluted when it's going back into the earth. The students have really stepped up. Uh, they're, they're learning how to manage both time, materials, costs. These are all things that are very difficult to do in a traditional studio setting. Um, we're doing time sheets, so they're time tracking. So all the things that um, need to be refined skills to be a really effective employee when they get their degrees and get out. And many of them are only a semester away from graduation, so it comes at the perfect time in their educational career too. This is the first time that we've actually taken the things that we're drawing on paper and putting them in the ground. So we're moving the dirt, we're building the walls, we're, we poured concrete, you know, I drilled through a wall today. So yeah, we're actually building something that we put on paper instead of just designing it and not really understanding one, how to build it, and two, how everything changes in the field.